everybody, my name is Ben, part of the Chemical Apes team, and welcome again to another Subnautica guide. So for this particular guide, we're going to be looking at getting to the final Degassi base, uh, the best way we can get there. It is a request from NZ Tribe, what this will do, pal. Okay, so where do we need to go and where do we need to start from? Uh, we, I do recommend you start from this location. We're at the centre of the map. Uh, in the safe shallows and it is at the coral sticking out there is two sets there's one over there and there's this one we want to be one closest to the aurora uh, doing it this way will allow me to give you exact distance and direction uh, and then you can just take one straight path there now we're going to be going 1325 meters to the first point and then we're going to sort of slightly backtrack but i will explain that when we get there now, where we want to go is precisely two clicks left of southwest. Uh, if you keep on that straight path, you can't go wrong. What do we need? We need the high capacity tank, the rebreather. What would be beneficial is the ultra high capacity tank uh, and a perimeter defense system. The other thing, sorry, that you're going to need is depth module Mark II for the CMOF. You're not going to be able to get close to it. We are going to be going 500 meters down so other than that you're not going to you're going to struggle so let's get crack on i believe that is it so in terms of the perimeter defense system i do recommend you have that as i mentioned it is really ideal as is bad guys down there what can we find down there okay so we can find the warpers uh, which are more of a nuisance than anything. They'll zap you out of the seam off and uh, do a little little bit of damage uh, to yourself, not to the seam off. The other one is a crab squid. Uh, real pain in terms of they send out an EMP pulse, uh, sorry, EMP uh, shock wave, and it'll just disable the seam off for uh, five seconds and then you, you can't move, then they, they sort of attack and chip away the seam off. So it's not what you want. So that perimeter defense system really does keep those guys at bay. Okay, so, and the other possibility is that you may run into a ghost leviathan. I have done a number of occasions. Spawn rate isn't particularly there, but you can do. Now, what's gonna happen is you're keeping on two clicks left of southwest and you'll come to this peak here uh, in the sparse reef if you want to keep on the right hand side of that and just you're going to make one direct path just make sure you keep on the right side of this large peak and we're just going to effectively descend down slightly veered off the um the two clicks left of southwest but if you just keep on those two clicks and you're just going to go straight straight down and it is uh, 500 meters down deep so we are again fearing off so keep two clicks left of southwest and lots of bad guys down here so so you can see this uh this tunnel down here yeah we want to be going straight down straight down keep going keep going until you've hit around about 490 500 meters so that will do and then what we're going to do we're going to swerve and we're going to go north so watch out for the balls warpers as i mentioned and there we go guys so this is the third and final degassi base um you will see obviously the crab squid there you go if you elevate when they do the shot wave, it will you will miss it. But they can be a real nuisance. So good luck, guys. I hope you like the video. Um, any comments, likes would be massively appreciated. And why not subscribe? Cheers for now. Bye bye.